Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 102 of the Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. So I just finished another trip of AFK Wyverns and let me just see what my Wyvern KC is at here. Let's go and open up the Slayer log. So Skeletal Wyverns is around the bottom right here. Oh, uh, here we go. 7,661. Damn. Okay, we're closing into 8k. <laughs> Alright, I guess uh, roll to 10,000 wyvern kills. Yo, I finally got myself an ancient tablet. Okay, very easy thing. Just use it on the talisman, right? Nice. Now I can just teleport right here. Easy peasy. Nice. So guys, I have another ambitious skilling goal coming up, and that is to get myself 90 herblur so 90 herblur is just gonna be really useful because I'm doing a lot of raids I want to make sure I have the best overload that I can make so that's overload plus as an Iron Man The only way to get it really unless you're soloing is to just make it yourself So it's a big deal just cuz you know I can hit a bit higher and in order to get drops You have a higher chance, you know if you have the highest point among your teammates So I want to make sure I have that so the amount of XP I need from like 87 90 it's around a mil or like 1 mil to 1 point, uh, 1 or 2 mil so that's quite a bit of experience you know herblur can be very slow in an Iron Man but I am stocking up on a shit ton of herbs so I'm not sure exactly how much XP I got in like you know herbs but I'd say definitely at least halfway just from looking at this is definitely over 600k experience so I do have all the secondaries for stuff like you know Torstals, Dwarf Weeds so I hope that by farming a lot throughout the course of this week, I might have enough herbs to go on that massive, you know, 1.2 mil XP grind to 90. Hey, just got myself 78 mining and 2050 total. So of course, I gotta do myself some skilling every now and then, you know? One of the big things I want to focus on now is Master Clues for sure. So I've always had this goal in mind, like low key. So basically, I'm gonna slowly work on all the requirements for Master Clues, and mining is one of them. Like, I think one of the Master Clues is like to mine Runite Ore or something. So ideally, I want to get like at least 80-ish so that I can boost. But, you know, ultimately, if I can just get the actual level, I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, that's gonna be good. Um, there's definitely a lot more skills that I could work on for Masters, but I remember mining being one of the big ones. and. At least it's AFK, so I can do this whenever I, I want to AFK too. So guys, I have done the real math for all the herbs that I got, and I have enough for about 1.1 to 1.2 million experience. So that means I'm basically right there to 90 herbler. So all I gotta do now is, yeah, just go and start making uh, potions. A few other things though besides potion making, I just gotta collect some stuff for like uh, Aventos, you know, some fungus. And also I just gotta go crush some bird's nests, but that's it. Everything else I have secondaries for, so... Yup, I am gonna start working on this ASAP rocket, dude. 90 Herbal is coming in soon. Okay, so it's time to uh, hand in this medium clue from my electics. Super easy to get medium clues from electics, so... Gonna hand it in, and uh, I believe that's all the scrolls that I need. Ah, uh, nothing like a woodcutting level before sleep. Well, I'm 96 woodcutting now, so sometimes I need some solid AFK. So I guess maybe uh, I might get a few more woodcutting levels. Close to 99 in a sense, yeah. Three more to go. And it took certainly a while to uh, get it. So obviously you know what the plan is with Greater Demon Taz. I am gonna be killing some Krill Susara, Zami boss for those items, so I am missing the Staff of the Dead and the Hilt, just two items, but they're both pretty rare, so it, it might be a long-term grind, we'll see. Gonna do some today. Alright, so I am on the third step of this Master Clue here, and um, I just need to get myself an Amulet of the Dam, so I actually don't have that, but... Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get, just gotta burn a bit of shades and open a few chests. Art light, I definitely have it, so... Damn, dude, people were telling me, yeah, these things aren't, like, that rare at all. Indeed, these things aren't that rare. Well, time to move on with this Master Clue, then. <laughs> One try! Yeah. Okay, follow. you're the last uh, step, probably, for this Master Clue, so be gentle to me. Green is my favorite. Oh, no. Mature Ale. Wow, man, follow. 
I knew you would uh, be an absolute a-hole to me. I've been trying, you know, really actively, trying to get this mature ale. I don't know, man. Like, I'm so close to finishing this, but at the same time, the stupid ale, it's probably gonna fuck me over. So I'm gonna go and see if I have some mature ale brewed up. Okay, so I checked all of the vats, and uh, none of them are matured, and I'm gonna go ahead and actually do some trouble brewing minigame. Uh, and get the points to buy this thing called the stuff and that apparently gives it a 50% chance that when I brew something it'll turn mature so I think it's worth a shot so apparently there's an easy way to get like 100 plus points and it's only 50 points to get the stuff so I should be able to get it really fast then apparently all I have to do for this trouble brewing minigame if I want to get points is pretty straightforward I just gotta go get some buckets uh, you can find that here and then uh, just fill up the water and then once you have that you go upstairs and then you just uh, put it into this hopper that says water and then next I'm not sure if you even have to do the next part but like the next part is like you go and collect flowers on your opponent's side I guess you just put flowers in the kettle and then you get some water like down flowers I guess and then with these bowls of blue water or red water depending on which side you're on you just put them here and I guess you keep doing that until 20 minutes is up and you get points. So let's see how much I get from doing all of this. Alright, the game was a draw. The final score was 0 out of 0. You are awarded 100 pieces of 8. Okay, nice. So apparently it works. Okay, so I just confirmed that you can just get the 100 points as easy as putting in a hundred buckets of water and that's it you don't even need to do anything else so super easy to do okay where is the stuff oh here you go the stuff 50 pieces of eight so i'm gonna buy two of them put some in the two batches and wait like two days and come back and hopefully one of them will be uh, mature for this master clue so I'm finally heading to Zami now, pretty damn excited. So this is uh, gonna be my test setup. I'm gonna be using the blood barrage method. It's a really well known and really effective method. Uh, basically you heal uh, two minions at the same time after the boss lets you stay longer. But yeah, a pretty standard setup for Zami and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, test this out. Dragon Warhammer, Art Light, everything on test should be really, really good. What? Seriously? You serious? Wow. That is so stupid. Alright. I forgot that it could back to back spec like that. You know what? I think I'm gonna call this a trip, man. I actually got to 50kc, so that is really impressive. The blood barrage method, still, you know, not 100% used to it yet, but once I get better at this, I can probably see myself getting like 10 plus kills very consistently. I have 80 kills, I started with 19kc today and I can't believe I basically did the whole task in one day. 61kc added today. Let's try to get some more Zami tasks and just keep grinding it out for those items man. Alright, just finished uh, Dust Devil task on this character so just uh, bursting to get rid of this task quickly and with well, the Bone Crusher is so nice man. I can literally finish this task with just one prayer pot so I brought way too many. Let me see what KC I'm at. I'm at 400 KBD KC. What? I actually thought I was at like 200 or something, but pretty damn high KC at this point. Alright, that's probably going to be the last kill of this trip. Oh my god, I got 21 kills this trip. And that's a Skeletor Wyvern task done. All 50 of them in one goddamn trip. Wow. Got around a little bit under 600k from 58 kills, so hmm. It's not as crazy as before, I guess it's because I didn't get enough seeds compared to last time. Hey, actually I hit 100 KC already, nice man. Still got a lot of Zami bosses to kill. Oh my lord, 14 kills in one trip. Oh my lord, that is insane. Well, that is uh, definitely my new record and it just blew my previous kills out of the water, man. Oh, that was a good kill. Even though I didn't spec at all. Rune Sword! Jagus is testing my patience right now, man. Oh my god. We finally got a drop. Although it's um, something that I've gotten long, long ago. But I don't care because 
Look at the KC on that, guys. 156. Dude, that's crazy, man. I've done 120 kills within the past two days. Actually, 130 now. And by the time I finish this task, it'll be like 140. Well, that's really good, though, because you guessed it. At some point, I will be doing the uh, Corporal B. So it's just nice to have, you know, both the Hosta and the uh, Spear. So that's really good. And that's my last Sammy boss kill of this task for some death runes. Well, that's crazy, guys. I've done so 170 KC started at 19. So basically, I have done 150 kills within these two days 75 kills each. One item so far uh, from this whole grind, but yes, I'm gonna keep grinding, man. Just Still missing those unique items, but pretty fun. At this point, like, I can do, like, 10 kill averages. So, out of all the God Wars bosses I've done so far, haven't done armor yet, but Sammy is definitely the fastest one to kill. It's the most fast-paced and the most unpredictable, and it's nice, though. It's a good change of pace. Definitely looking for more tasks from here. So, with my Slayer Cape Warren, there's a 10% chance that I will get the task that I just got. So this is pretty good because, you know, I am really wanting to get some more Zami boss tasks, so here we go. Would you like to be reassigned your last task? Okay, so it actually worked. Wow, I'm gonna get uh, Greater Demons again, I guess. Hell yeah, 138, so yep, that is about 69 Zami kills right there that I could be doing. Awesome, awesome. Alright, so I am running low on skills, but luckily I have a shit ton of... So we're unique items, so I'm just gonna go ahead and break this. Yes, dismantle for 20,000 skills. That's nice. Okay, then. Now I don't have to worry about skills for a long time. So I am going to be wrapping up with today's video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a like. And also, if you want to stay up to date with future episodes for this series and other videos, feel free to subscribe as well. Other than that, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care.